Good afternoon. I'm here on the last day of Embedded World 2023. And joining me today is Victor Kubasek, who is the Director, Deputy Head of Product Management Film Division at Yargeo Group. And today we're going to be talking about the company's digital design tools. So, Victor, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about yourself to start off with. Well, um, I started in this industry 29 years ago. I uh, spent most of my time always linked to distribution. Mm -hmm. um, and recently, last year, I switched sides. So I moved from sales into product management mm -hmm. and took the opportunity within the Yagio Group um, to lead the product management for film capacitors. Fantastic. So tell us a little bit more about Yagio Group. What is it they do? Yagio has really, uh, really became a real powerhouse when it comes to um, electronic components. Um, Yagio itself originates from Taipei, from Taiwan founded in 1977, um, and um, in the last years really grew through a lot of acquisitions. So the big major one was probably back in the early 2000s when they acquired FICOM, which um, helped them to establish themselves in the resistor and MLCC segment. Mm -hmm. But then uh, with the acquisition of Pulse, um, they broadened their portfolio. And uh, shortly after they acquired Kemet Electronics, Mm -hmm. um, and with that entire portfolio, they really became a huge powerhouse and now targeting $5 billion on annual base in sales. Mm -hmm. And um, this brings a lot of opportunities sitting with customers and really being able to cover, let's say, 90% of the components on the board. Mm -hmm. Everything's still very uh, passive oriented, if you want to say so, but um, huge, huge, huge coverage on the board itself. Fantastic. So as you say, um, Kemet is part of the Yagio group. So let's let's focus on that for now. And, and can you introduce us to the, the Kemet film products? Yeah. So Kemet is, um, is a company more than 100 years old. Um, the, the Really the, the base where we started off was in the ceramic and tantalum. Yeah. But then also um, during the 2000s with uh, various acquisitions, um, we, we, we gained the portfolio of film capacitors and electrolytic capacitors. And me now being part of the film division of that, um, we really try to, to concentrate and, and find our place um, in, um, in the more power-oriented power applications. Yeah. Historically, we were covering everything. Um, but as you can imagine, I mean, over the course of 20, 30 years, you have an overlap of dielectrics. Some spaces are now occupied by ceramics. So we really needed to make a strategic decisions where we want to see ourselves going forward. Mm -hmm. And this is clearly more in the, in the power segment itself. Okay, fantastic. And, and what are your key market focuses with these? Um, if you look on our latest portfolio, things we launched in the last two, three years, so it becomes pretty obvious that renewable energy, yeah. um, green energy, um, electric charging, charging stations, and automotive electrifications is becoming the, the main topic of our portfolio and in our engagement. Mm. And have you made any, any investments into this area? Um, recently, we, uh, we launched a plan to, to expand our footprint in Europe. Um, really, the theme here is we want to be closer to the customer. Yeah. When it comes to the production sites, we really try to surf Europe out of Europe, uh, also covering the Americas. And then our presence that we have in the Asia region really utilize for, for the Asian market. Mm -hmm. um, not only on the production side, but also on R&D side, because the journey for us starts really with R&D. And um, the key for us is we want to be as close as possible to the customer to ensure that not only our current portfolio is covering the needs that the market has today, but to ensure that the R&D people are flooded with ideas of things that may become rele relevant in uh, three, five years out. And this is then also covered in our roadmap plans. Mm. Fantastic, fantastic. And what's the long-term strategy then for the, the Kemet film product? We want to be the first go-to partner when it comes to technology and service. Both of these fields are highly relevant to us and our customer base. Um, you can have the best product on the planet if you don't have the service to bring it on the board, to bring it to production, then obviously you won't be successful. No. So really those are the two things 
we are constantly trying to cover. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And tell us now about Yagio's digital tool offering. What, what's in the existing portfolio? Yeah, so um, when you walk around the show, you can see, I mean, everything is about data and digital. Yep. And we try to, to, to mirror this in, in the offerings that we have. On our website, which is basically covering all dielectrics, not only the film components, but we are being, being part of it, there is the, the classic um, K-SIM model, which is a SPICE model, which, which is very popular in, in, uh, in the R&D segment where, where people can, can simulate. Um, for us, we took a next step on the K-SIM, which is a lifetime calculator, mm -hmm. where you can have a real calculation of the component in the application in the boundary um, environment, the, the, the comp component itself or the old application is used to give the R&D people an idea how our component will behave over the lifetime um, of the application itself. And then another thing that we are heavily working on right now is, uh, is the KTEM. Um, it's, a, it's a temperature simulation because temperature plays a very, very significant role in the lifetime of the component. So you can really m model um, on our component where the hotspot is for the component mm -hmm. under, under the circumstances how the component will be used. Um, both things are ready to launch. Um, some things are live on the web page, other things are still kept in the background. We are, we are, we're working with customers on request um, and hopefully over the remaining 2023, we will be able to, to launch that on the website also. Mm, fantastic. And what would you say are the main benefits of, of these offerings? I mean, clearly, um, it should speed up the process. Okay. Uh, we want to make sure that the R&D folks working with us, using our components, choosing the right component, mm -hmm. and with our support, really to make sure that when it comes to mass production, that you, you get what you expect, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you want to have the best performing part um, to give you the best performance of your application. So for us, the link to R&D is so critical. Yeah. Um, also in the Yagio group, you have a lot of components that are more on the commodity side, which is a, you pick it from the catalog, you put it on the board, it works, a simple, easy fix. But our, our products, in, um, in this market that is so significantly growing. And just to, to, to as we mentioned, the three, three main uh, markets we are targeting, yeah. we expect these markets to grow by 10x over the next years to come. Mm. So um, for us, it's so important to be close to the R&D people and give them the support that they need. Yeah, well, speaking of, of the next couple of years to come, do you have any future plans for your, for your offering? Absolutely, yeah. Um, um, so for the digital tools, one thing that we have very high on our roadmap is we want to provide the market a solution that gives them a full traceability of our products, yep. um, which plays a significant role when it comes also to counterfeit, uh, which is always a topic in our industry. We want to eliminate that. We want to make sure that whenever the customer buys a product from us, they can, with one click, ensure that this is uh, origin chemical product and um, not getting something false, which may cause massive problems. Yeah. And it's uh, it's hard to put a number out there how big the damage is, but it's um, we only know the cases that we see, yeah. and uh, there is a there is an urgent need in the market for that. And traceability is also important because sustainability is a big topic, even mm -hmm. though we are. Um, very close to be 100% uh, green. Excellent. Um, this is something where the requirements there from the market because it needs to be, it's part of, it's part of uh, the decision process, right? I mean, whatever you put on the board, you want to make sure that it's supporting your, your CO2 footprint that you have with your application. Um, I would say this being one of the R&D drivers. And the other thing is all the tools that I mentioned, um, the next step would be to have them fully integrated system to system with our, with our R&D partners. So you don't need to stroll to web pages, go through tools, plug in your data, um, getting the results, import them into your tools. Um, we, want to, we want to skip this step. I mean, yeah. we want to have a real system to system integration. Yeah, and, and given all you've said then, what's the role of high service distribution in all of this? Oh, high service distribution is super critical for us. Um, usually, I mean, the journey 
starts with picking the right component. And to do that, the component needs to be available. Yeah. So for us, whenever we plan a product launch, the very first step is to make sure that our high service partners and DGK being our one is, is our biggest partner yeah. in that segment, um, really to make sure that you have the parts available. You, you, you create with the product launch, you create some tension in the market for a very limited time. And at that time, you need to make sure that the parts are available. And then through the entire cycle, when it goes into, into the ramp up, into mass production, all this only works if you have a really solid um, pipeline and channel partners on board to ensure that and this is coming back to the service thing. Yeah. You need to make sure that the parts are available because lead time, um, lead time, we're always around. I think in the last couple of years, more of a problem than before. Yes. But it's something that sticks with me for the last 29, 29 years. So it will not disappear and it will remain. And, and distribution is playing a very, very significant yeah. role in that. Definitely. Well, thank you very much for your insights. It's been a real pleasure speaking with well, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.